All right, guys, for writing today, we are going to be doing our letter page. So if you've already done the OG lesson for today, you would know that our letter that we were working on was letter B. And B says what? Good, B says B. So we are going to be practicing writing our letter B, like up here. And like always, we are going to start with our capital letter B. Now, today, since we've had a couple days since our last lesson, I'm going to walk through this paper with you again. But as we go throughout the week, I'm going to start walking less and less because this page stays the same every day. We just change the letter we're working on, but it's the same skills we're going to practice. So once you get used to it, you don't need me as much, and then we'll be able to add in some different writing activities while we're working on our letter. So... Let's start with our capital letter B. Remember, we're going to find those black dots, and we always put our pencil on the black dot to start. Capital letters are our, the bigger letters, and they always are going to start at the very top line. So you see we have three lines. We have our top line, we have our dotted middle line, and we have our bottom line. And capital letters are always going to start at the top line. So you put your pencil on the dot, you go down, straight down, come back to the top, around to middle, around to bottom. Let's try that again. So start on the dot, straight down, around to middle, around to bottom. Let's do two more, ready? Straight down, around to middle, around to bottom. And last one, straight down, around to middle, around to bottom. All right, nice job. That was our uppercase B. And one more time, B says, good, B says B. So let's now go to our lowercase letter B. And lowercase letter B is actually tall. Our A, when we did our A, remember our A started at the dotted middle line, but our B has a long line down. So lowercase B starts at the top dot again straight down, and this time don't lift your pencil up. We're gonna go up to the middle and around. So it's all one motion, I don't lift my pencil up. Also, sometimes I see a mistake B where it goes, people go down, and then they just keep going around. We don't want it to look like that. So we wanna go down, and then come back up, and then go around. We want to see this little bitty tail down there at the bottom. We don't want it to just go down and around. Nope. So let's try that again. Find the dot. Straight down. Up to the middle. Around. Straight down. Up to the middle. And around. Straight down. Up to the middle. And around. All right. If you need to pause for a second and get caught up. So you have both your uppercase B and your lowercase B. Go ahead. All right, so moving on, let's go back to the top where we have our pictures. And this is where we need to circle the pictures that start with a B. Now, I've asked you a couple of times, but what does B say? B says, B, good. So we are going to find the pictures that start with that B. Let's start over here with balloons. B, B, balloons. Yeah, that starts with a B. All right, so getting back into it, uh, let's go back to the bat. Does bat start with a B? B, B, bat. Yep, so we're going to circle our bat. Ice cream. Does ice cream start with a B? B, B, ice cream? No. Does snowman start with a B? B, B, snowman? No. What does snowman start with? Snowman starts with a not a buh. And last one, basket. B, B, basket. Yes, yeah, so basket starts with a buh. All right, remember, if you're challenging yourself, you should take some time to come back. And we had balloons, bat, and basket. And you should try to label those words by sounding them out. So, for instance, if we did basket, let's sound out basket. Basket starts with a buh. We know it starts with a buh, which is a B. What's the next sound in basket? Ba, ah, 
It says A. Ah, that's our A. A apple A. Ah. Bass kiss. Now we're doing bass. But A. Ah, what's this? Yeah, that's an S. But ask. What says K? Let's go with a K. Bass K. Eh, eh, eh. Ooh, that's an E. Bask, et, t, t. Basket, so a T. So again, try to challenge yourself. And so I want you to try to label balloon and bat. Try to really sound out those words. All right, down at the bottom, I'm not going to go through it too much. You need to color the squares that have, that have a B, either a lowercase or an uppercase like these two. There are at least four more that you need to color. And then on this side, you're going to circle your capital B's and put a square around your lowercase b's. So go ahead and pause the video, do that, and then we'll come back and we'll work on the back side. All right, so now you have colored the B squares on the front and circled in, boxed your upper, uppercase and lowercase b's. On the back, we're going to practice writing our B's again. I'm going to do one example of each, and then you can do the other two. So remember, we have three black dots, which means we need three uppercase B's and three lowercase B's. So first one, we're going to go line down, back to the top, around to middle, around to bottom. That's our uppercase B. So you do three of those, and then we're going to move to our lowercase B. Lowercase B, we go line down, back to the middle, around. So go ahead and pause and finish those and then we'll move on. All right, then we have our tracing lines. So go ahead and trace those lines. Remember, we're going to try to stay on those lines as best as possible. If you get off like, oops, I made a big mistake there. I remember I'm going to erase and I'm going to try again because I really want to do my best to stay right on those lines. So do all three of those lines. Ooh, that one wasn't very good. Do all three of those lines, and then we're going to, down here, it says circle, so you need to circle all the Bs. Let me see, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to write the number seven, and you need to find seven Bs. All right, so go ahead and pause, find all seven Bs, and then let's come back. Now that we're back, let's read these words and find the letter or the pictures that match. So our first one, we know that these all start with a B, and B says... Ba, good. This first one we go ba. What does A say? A says A apple a ah, a. Ah. So ba a. Ah. And then we have a what letter is at the end? A T. And T says t t top t. So t. Let's put that all together. So we went ba a ah, t ba a ah, t bat bat. So we're gonna draw a line to the bat. Ooh, I see. Remember we did this one last week too. We did a scaredy cat E, scaredy cat A, but we also talked about a double E. Remember when you see two E's, they go together and they're strong and they say E. They don't say E, they say E. So when you see a double E, you say E, E, it's a bumblebee party. One more time. When you see a double E, you say E, E, it's a bumblebee party. So let's end up this word. It starts with a ba, ba, e, b, and that goes for b. And the last one we have, oop, that's just one e. So it's just going to say eh, just like normal. The e by itself just says eh. So let's sound it out. We have ba, eh, and that last letter is a d. Remember, it's the opposite of b, and it says da. Ba, eh, d, ba, eh, d, bed. All right, your paper should be done. Great job writing today. Remember, you can always get out that Play-Doh and try to write the letter B. And I will see you next time. Great job.